Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling quite a bit better than I was a couple days ago, but still break into cough now and then, and hopefully that's going away too. So anyway, what are we going to do today? Well, let's take a look at it. Uh, I want to get the gas tank put back together. I gave it a, a vinegar bath on the inside rinsed it out with water, dried it out with a heat gun. Um, I'm going to take the uh, manifold off here, clean that out and put in uh, new seals because it's leaking pretty badly. And uh, carburetor's all cleaned. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think that's about it. We want to get this guy up and running today, if at all possible. So then I want to get it sold. Well, we started this morning with, uh, actually I started this morning with a little bit of work on my car. Got some rust and uh, wire brushed it off and put some, uh, Eastwood rust encapsulator on it. I don't know if that'll help or not, but we can hope. So, anyway, what we're going to do now is I started to put the uh, cover back over the flywheel here, shined it up a little bit. Not bad. I got the uh, new gaskets in the mail yesterday, so I thought I'd put it on. And when I got to this bolt way down here, let me turn the light on. If it'll come on. This one right here, I find that it's stripped out. I don't remember it being stripped out before, so maybe I stripped it out myself. Anyway, we got this here uh, helicoil set. It's part of a bigger set. I'll show you just for the heck of it. And it covers M5, M6, M8, M10, and M12. So I got all the pieces here. Let's get with it. I'm going to need a drill for this. So, right now I'm also draining the uh, vinegar out of the tank that I put in there. There was some rust in there, and i got to rinse that out. So i got a couple of things going here. Let me uh, put the tripod down and bring the camera up. So it's pointing at what I'm doing. I'm just where is it there? And there it is. So the first thing we do is a drill bit. That should go in there straight. And that went in pretty easy. The second thing we do is tap it out, I think, for the helicoil. That's close enough. Now 
Now, we take the tool. <laughs> this is the actual tool to insert it, and it's got the slot down here at the bottom. You know what? I need to put some good old uh, Loctite on there. All right, so we got us a little... Um, thread locker here. Put just a shade of it on there. And see if we can find the hole. I don't think it wants to go in there. Maybe you had to put some pressure on I don't want to go in there. All right, so what I found was this is the driver for the M6. Uh, he, um, what do you call it? Uh, thread repair from my Chinese kit. I got a bright spot right behind me here. Let me get over here. All right, can you see that? I hope. I got bright spots everywhere. Maybe I can block it. <laughs> anyway, this is the entire driver for the uh, thread repair for an M6, according to the kit. But when I tried to drive it in, it never got all the way in because the thread insert would bite down on the shaft here. It's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to go in there freely. So I took the one from the M5 and used it and it went right in just like it should. So Chinese Tools suck. <laughs> just, just my uh, estimation. All right, I, there's some rust in the tank, so I poured in. Uh, thank you, air compressor, for letting me speak. Okay, so like I said. I put some vinegar, two gallons of it, in the tank. And it sat for a couple of days. So I'm going to take the tank off now and rinse it out and see what I got. All right. I'll get see if I can get this manifold off. I suspect those are tens. They're not real tight. I don't, know, I don't think I. Well, maybe I can. can't tell if that's picking it up or not, but probably could be tilted back a little bit. Yep, 
Yeah, that's better. <laughs> There's just two bolts here, so I don't think you're missing much if you don't see me take this off. I was just screwing it back in. Not on purpose. All right, let's see if we can do this from this side. Yeah, that was not real tight either. Maybe that was the reason it was leaking. I'm gonna have to get around to the other side and get that one out. No good way to do this. But I'm getting it. I think. Let me see if I get a different angle on it here. Not really, I think I'm gonna have to use the wrench all the way. We're getting her now. Boom, she's out. I don't know if there's a gasket in there or not. Let me see. Yes, there is. It's a good one too. I'm pretty sure. So let's clean this up. All right, so I got the uh, manifold off and uh, I need to get down in here and this is too big to do it. So I need to get something really skinny that can get down in there and get the old gasket out and then so I can put a new one in. I'm not sure if there's one in there or not. It's right in this little groove here. But we'll find out. All right, so what I found out was you can actually drive this center piece out through the bottom. Then we can attack this with some uh, wire brushes and get it all cleaned up and put it back together. And well, there's a lot of hands there, isn't there? But we'll get her taken care of. I don't know if you can see or not. I injured myself here. Being dumb. I was trying to hold this in my hand and then clean this groove out with this sharp stick. And guess what? You should always put it in a vise first and then just work on it there. <laughs> oh well. We don't care. I did say a couple bad words, but oh well. Alright, so I got them out. Put it in a vise and did it. This is what was in there. And this would have caused it to be uneven down at the bottom and leak. So I want to get a cup wire brush and clean that all out in there. If that don't work, I'll get the Dremel out and do it. I probably ought to put some electrical tape on this blood. Alright, couldn't find any electrical tape, but this will work. Let me get a piece of it out of here. I 
I just don't like getting blood all over what I'm doing. No big thing. Yep, all done. Now we gotta find us a um, cup brush that'll fit down in that hole. We got a drill with a battery that's up. All right, I don't know if this is gonna fit in there or not, but we'll find out. Well, I think what we gotta do is put it down like that and then just pull it through while we're working. And there we go, all nice and clean inside. Let me put a light on it and show you. I think this light works. It does a little bit. Now we'll put the inside piece back in. So there it is. All nice and shiny inside. All right, so let's tilt this up a little bit. I don't know if I can get me in it or not. I guess I can. All right, so we got the two gaskets. This is the big one that goes behind this back here. And this is the cord that goes down in this group right here. So we're going to get those installed. I'll, <coughs> what I'll do, the part numbers are, for the cord it's 248-14623-10. And for the a uh, regular gasket, it is, or seal, maybe an exhaust seal would be proper, 214-14613-09. Those are your part numbers. And we'll get those ready and get them in. All right, so I put uh, two wraps of that cord in here and I pushed it down with a spray nozzle thingy. So I think we're ready to put this all back together with the brand new gasket here. And, oops, got a staple on it there. Let's see if we can get the exhaust installed. Sometimes this causes it, this uh, gasket here, and this one causes the exhaust pipe to be too far out ahead to get it on the... Uh, the bolts that it has to be on in the back. So we'll see if we can do it. All right, so we're getting this in place. We got both the gaskets installed where they're supposed to be. We'll get this on. Oh, we got a... We got a wire brush that exhaust and put about five coats of VHT on it. Because the last time I just put one or two, I think probably one, and it rusted almost immediately. So that's the next item on the agenda, is getting that exhaust all prettied up. Maybe I ought to get a charger and charge up my little light here too
we're squeezing that big round gasket down it'll flatten it out that's why I replaced it because the other one was already flattened out but this should give us a pretty good seal all right folks so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it at this point I'll have to let that uh, exhaust dry probably that VHT paint takes a long time to dry so I'll go out and get that done probably this afternoon. You don't need to see that. And <clears throat> I'll leave it dry overnight. I may even use a heat gun on it. And uh, then I'll come back tomorrow and we'll install the, the nice shiny. Well, probably won't be shiny because I'll use dull or uh, satin. Uh, VHT paint and we'll install that and see if we can't get it going tomorrow and then list it up for sale.